All right, all right. <laughs> yeah. It's Saturday morning and we're going to market. The Sarasota Farmer's Market, that is. It's in the old downtown district. A tradition going all the way back to 1979, they say. It's a nice way to spend your Saturday and maybe go exploring the rest of the town later. This is where you get the feeling of being in the old district. That's an old movie theater. I was told this is not a very large farmer's market. It's only about three blocks, maybe. Being off season, it doesn't look too crowded. We tried our luck with parking since we were early, and we were able to get one right off of Main Street in Lemon. Got a parking? Yeah. Yeah. Dogs only, fellas. This is interesting. A poet waiting for inspiration, typing on an old typewriter poem for an anxious girl. You get to enjoy musicians playing outside. It's it's a happy place. The merchants, the customers, uh, the pets on leashes, and walking around the old part of downtown Sarasota feels like you're in a small town. It's got that small town atmosphere. Good thing we had a big breakfast because I would have been eating everything in sight here. They got lots of good food. I love those things. I got a closet full of those. For Alia. Yeah. His brick building was built back in 1912. It's uh, called the Worth Block. It's still in use today. It's just great for animal lovers as well. Get to see all the shapes and sizes of pets that are there having fun with their owners. I hear the coffee from the Volkswagen Red Bus. That's some of the best. Ah, look at that. Now that's good stuff. Oh man, look at this. Spinach. Spinach for gotcha. If you like organic and fresh veggies, this would be a good place to find them. Huge mushrooms. Best Greek food you can ever eat, Tarpon Springs. This must be the rocket bike. That's what it is, a rocket bike. Is it somebody's? No, honey, it's just for show. I gotta say, this uh, place gives a cozy feeling. I recommend a visit here. Things kind of shut down here by 1 p.m. to beat the uh, very warm summer heat, so I would recommend it to come early. Before going back to the campground, we have one more thing to see. At the Sarasota Bayfront, there's a 26-foot tall statue called Unconditional Surrender. It's a recreation of a very famous photograph from the end of World War II. There's a beautiful story behind this statue as well. If 
you're interested, I'll put a um, link below. Well, we had a great time here in Sarasota. We're kind of sorry we have to leave, but there's always next year. You all have a great day.